Hey guys, what is up? Today is honestly kind of bittersweet because we get the finale we have been waiting for for a very long time now. Doom Patrol, Weight of the Worlds, issue number seven has finally arrived after God damn months and months and months and months of delays. While right now with Young Animal, you have Far Sector coming out and nothing else. This is kind of almost feels like part of a bygone era in a, in a very fun and good way. Again, Young Animal, probably my favorite comic imprint of all time at this point. One of the few imprints that I absolutely adored. Literally everything they put out. Something that I own everything they put out. This is something I've been very, very, very highly anticipating since issue six came out last year. Uh, we have, of course, Jeremy Lambert, Gerard Way, Nick Darrington, Michael Allred. Uh, just a killer's row of incredible talent all around. This is a book that, from the art to the wording, the story, the colors, everything about this works for me. I know right now Doom Patrol is in an interesting place in comics because we have the show back. Uh, but now the comic, we get its final little hit. Also, uh, Tamara Bond villain, someone that definitely needs a shout out to because the colors in this book are incredible. Yeah, this is, this is a finale. If you haven't read it up to this point, I would highly suggest go picking up. I'm sure the trade will come out now, hopefully soonish. Uh, I'm going to try to keep this as spoiler free as possible, but with it being a finale, that's always hard. My quick, quick, quick thoughts. Uh, I loved it. It was very, very heartfelt. It hit me hard. There are a couple of very meta moments where it seems like they are talking about some events that happened in real life and how people like, specifically, I'm going to guess Gerard Way kind of handles writing comics with balancing music with what Doom Patrol represents, with what creating art represents, and not being afraid to step back into worlds that you have already exited. This is a very, very, a very unique finale. And this is one that I, I do wish we would have gotten closer to six just because I think it would hit harder. I think if you do go back and read the first six issues and then this, it'll hit a lot better. Uh, yeah, no, it's, I loved it. I loved every second of it. Again, I don't want to spoil, but there are just so many pages of these payoffs and great art and great moments seeing the entire cast together, being back with Flex and Casey and Lotion and Fug and uh, just everybody and Jane and Cliff. It feels really, really great. It feels like coming home. And that's why it's very bittersweet because it feels like coming home and immediately moving out because it's been so long since we got the last issue that this does have that ring of, it's back mm, from now. Uh, I'm hoping... Hopefully we'll see a return in some form or another. Uh, I would love to see it continue a couple of years later. I would love to see Casey and a lot of the white characters continue in one form or another. But yeah, I love this issue. I uh, wanted to get a quick review out of it while it's still early. And uh, yeah, this is one of the few issues. This is up there with like Death Metal with one of the, the first times I literally just waited up until like 2 a.m. Uh, my local time when I could read it on Comixology. And read it immediately and kind of let it sit for a while and then recorded this because it hit hard. And I think it's going to hit a lot of people hard who are big fans of Doom Patrol and Young Animal. Because in a weird way, this kind of feels like the closing of the door to Young Animal, at least for now. I know we still have Far Sector, but it just does kind of feel like an, the end of an era in a lot of ways. Uh, and I don't think it's a bad thing. I think it's good to end one chapter and get ready to move on to the next. And I'm excited to see what comes next. So let me know what you thought of this issue below. Leave your comments. If you like this, of course, like it, share it, all of that jazz that you hear from everybody online. Uh, if not, let me know too. Either way, thank you so much for deciding to use a little bit of your time to listen to me talk about a comic I love. And I will hopefully see you guys soon in another review or video. Thank you.